Welcome to Hollywood. Ladies Hollywood. and gentlemen, Blighton. Astoria, look at that cute little avatar. Go ahead. One at a time. Welcome, Astoria. Okay. Well, I see two people coming in. And now okay, we've go got Mizugomo and her date, Micah. Look at them fucking clashing with the pink and blues. Wonderful dresses, ladies. Think great. Looks to be Cruella. Cruella de Vil. It's Cruella de Vil. Pay close attention to the mesh dogs. Fully animated. Looking Walking fabulous. Now, Adrienne Pascal with her lovely duck slipper shoes. And next up, from the angry mob standing outside the castle trying to hunt down Frankenstein, we have Guardian of the Galaxy. <laughs> Yes. Floating in, in lack in all her glory. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> what an amazing. And the night would not be the one and only Stella and 4D. Thank you for coming And tonight. then there's oh, Cam and oh. Palisade. Mr. Palisade Coronet, you you're lovely today, for tonight. Good and you, Cam sir. Who knew that Yoda liked to choke up as well? Pally Hub's finest, Callie and Coley. Some people hey, mistake Carlton, them for each other. Callie and Coley. Carlton, Carlton chasing the booty. Play. Not taking no <laughs> for an answer. Yes, and not right, the dark side of the tonight. We're pleased to see that. Thank you, Carlton. Oh, you Great. Back here. Over here. Over here. <laughs> and then there was <laughs> Princess Pau and Turn Up the Bass. Turn Up the Bass. Looking fine as hell. Apparently, apparently, turn up is trying to run away from his date. Um, <laughs> that's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. We just accept it as it is. <laughs> All right, next coming down the runway, we have got Mariella. <laughs> have Mariella and Max. Max, the teeth for days, a smile only a mother would love. Oh, there and you go, Mariella. Anyway, the Lance and Astoria. I'm not wearing. I'm not wearing. Lance and Astoria. I'm not wearing. Ladies and gentlemen, him came Lance and his date Astoria. It hasn't okay, fully rest for me, but I like the hair. Beautiful, beautiful. I think the audience is grateful to you that Lance his private parts private. Thank you for that. Okay, come on in. And um, eagerly awaiting the next people. On the red carpet Atua tonight. Atwa with her oh lovely red mesh dress. Beautiful, lovely red dress. <laughs> oh, okay. And you. the one, the only, army crawling ghost in his full ghost. black mesh suit. <laughs> Much like Solid Snake, he what? likes to keep An it in his trousers. Even crawling on the floor. That ass, though, ghost. That ass. That ass, man. Them squats. Squats for days. And then there was Piper. I got Piper. Punky. Down the red carpet. Fighting through the waters of lag. One step at a time. And uh, they're slowly making their way through the threshold. There's Punky in her purple and uh, red dress looking nice. Dress. Great color. And Piper with her floral dress looking stunning as always. I love the flowiness, Piper. Very lovely. The boys are back in town with their fucking suits and ties. Dashing gentlemen, you look great. Love the shades. Don't chase that pussy. Live the dream. Rina. Rina with her fucking gorgeous brunette hair and long white dress. Beautiful. And who do we have next on the red carpet? Zooming out, uh, we got a couple people left. Uh, there comes uh, Slade Ninja Warrior. Colin! Welcome, thank you for coming tonight. You look awesome. You know, you paparazzi. Vicky Azul. You, you can't take any bad pictures, honey. I'll see you in court. Down bitch. the runway. You hear Andrew in the distance. Uh, Showing vad shots, um, not the first, but uh, not won't be the last of many. Cannon, and and lovely Rack. black and red, like in Beautiful. the tail. Get a hold of shots. Great. 
We got a couple more people here. And there's Crayer and D Lamb and looks like Allie's booking it, fucking running to the fucking gates. Beautiful. Ooh, let me see your face. Um, they might be able to. They, I think they can make it. I think they got this. Crayer and Allie. Crayer abusing Allie apparently. She's telling him to stop. Crayer won't take no for an answer. Classic Crayer. And then there's uh, Dick. <laughs> Dick Chef Kirk. <laughs> And his glowing Welcome. avatar. Fabulous, fabulous. All right, uh, it is the one and only. Okay. I was just thinking the same thing. I was like, oh my god, Allie I'm and on you. Bear. Allie and Crayer walking in. No, just Allie, just Allie. Just Allie, no Crayer. That guy behind her, paying no attention to him. He doesn't exist. Not together. Oh the only dream motherfucking good fellow. Dream Ooh. good fellow. Look at that. Pally dream! Most eligible bachelor. Still a room right in front of me. Oh, there comes his date. I'm sorry, ladies. He is off limits for tonight. Hey! Happy paparazzi, Jesus fucking Christ. Make some paparazzi, you better step back and get all of you. Try to get a nice shot of the sweet ass and make sure you get a good guy. Woo! Pally's blood! Oh, please note the tip jar for Pally Hub slash Pallywood at the opening. Yeah, show some Pally Hub love. I'm gonna sit in my chair and get fucking drunk now. Super, super exciting. That's here at our fucking cam, ladies and gentlemen. Damn. Hot smoking Yoda. Get up yeah. on here. Take a seat. Take a seat. Okay, make yourself. So, Cam, how you doing tonight? Where's the interview stage over here? Can we get a mic check for Cam? I can't hear him. Mic check, Cam. Cam. I always turn it there off. There we go. Turn it back on. There we go. There, ladies and gentlemen, Cam. Cam being interviewed. Pot smoking Yoda. So Yoda, how long have you smoked pot? Oh, I uh, started probably when I was about 19. Is there any correlation between pot smoking and the Force? Yes, you believe you had a Force when you're on pot. How much dro would I need to smoke to be able to influence the people around me? Three hits. Andrew, that's three hits. Is that three hits for me, or is that three hits for someone who I'm trying to influence? Yeah, three hits for you. Oh, yeah. so the so the pot actually gives me the power. Okay. Uh, um, physically hitting people. Do you do you think that has more power than five? I had no power. I never fight. There's never any fight to a pot party. No, no fighting. Well, you know, when you're battling the Coke? dark forces, when you're battling the dark forces, um, I mean, is that all men mental or is there physical aspects involved to that? Well, fighting the dark forces, there is physical. Mm -hmm. Does your lightsaber double as a bomb? I accidentally joined the boy <laughs> Yeah, yes, it does. You gotta be careful uh, which end you suck, because once one end is uh, a little stopper on it. But I can honestly say I've never uh, put my mouth on another man's lightsaber. I don't swing that way. Yeah, you don't swing that way? I generally try to keep my, my lips away from another man's Hi, lightsaber. Dave. How you doing, sweetie? Good man. Liar. Maybe. <laughs> Liar. You might be missing out on the funner things in life that way, Havoc. I, I think I'll take that hit. Try, Havoc. This was the worst interview I've ever heard. Bitch, don't push me. I'll rip your <laughs> fucking beam off. Um, okay. Oh, D Lamb. Bitch, no, you are about to get your turn up here, D Lamb. Y'all grab the yeah. D Lamb. We got uh, questions. Don't worry. And then I'll fucking shove your face into the cement and right in the back. Cam, thank you so much. No problem. Cam, it's always lovely to have you. You have a wonderful night. Um, next person in the interview chair. Who we got over here? We got. Oh, we got Dream motherfucking Goodfellow. Dream Goodfellow. Come on up here, Dream. Take a seat. Uh, you can purchase like a fucking gargoyle too. That's cool. Uh, you know, no judgment here. 
Hey, no, actually, oh I was going to try to do something you. different. Oh, there we go. There so we go. Maybe I'll sit pretty normal tonight. Know. Well, you know, I just wanted to say real quick before we get started, I'm really excited to be at Pallywood 2016. Um, I think it's a great event. And I'm, I'm just, it's really cool seeing all of you all dressed up and fucking looking good and everything. It's nice. Yeah, I, I think my co-host here is especially dashing. We're matching tonight with red, but um, yeah, we've got... You're looking beautiful. I, I think it. we've got a, a lot of good looks here on the red carpet tonight. Yeah, um, everybody's pulled out all the stops tonight. I mean, look at this lovely crowd. I, I mean, just can't wait to the after party to take off all these dress clothes and get completely naked. Uh, Yo, I'm getting right after party. <laughs> Come on in, I'm on the record, on the record. So, Dream, what uh, what made you choose a red tie tonight as opposed to, like, a yellow tie? Tell us about that. I really feel like my personality portrays power. The red is so powerful. So I chose red tonight because I felt maybe, like, you maybe, know, maybe for the after party, I want to say you know, representative of my personality. <laughs> Right. Mm. Do you also do you also vote red or are you more of blue? I'm definitely a red, I'll be honest. Definitely a red. All right. Well you're, you're gonna be hitting up on all those female contest boards, huh, Jim? Yeah. Oh hey, you know what? I think all the ladies are looking beautiful tonight. Especially by the way, let me just let me just make a shout out real quick to the beautiful <laughs> uh, on my date tonight. <laughs> Hey, yo, I want to give a shout out to all my niggas back in the hood. All my niggas in Matt, I'm gonna have to ask you to get, get the, the fuck, fuck my off zone, my dog. stage. <laughs> I apologize, we're having technical difficulties. Apparently, the Taliban has overrun the stage. Please call the FBI. The Taliban have come and taken over our studios. I'm being held hostage. Somebody, please send the government. That was a close call, gentlemen. That was a close Oof, call. Hey. I'm pretty sure that guy had a bomb vest. Live TV. You never know with live TV, right? That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. Uh, Did you see his turban? Yeah. Well, you know, if you're voting red, uh, Mr. Goodfellow, you know, Trump, Trump's going to do be doing something about that. But maybe that's a discussion for another evening. The evening. You no, know, I mean, if if you really want me to put my, you know, the boys you know are back what? in town. I think I, the gay boys are. Hey, back in town, I'll endorse somebody tonight. I believe, I believe in Donald J. Trump for president, ladies and gentlemen. Vote day. Donald J. Trump. You heard it first from Dream Goodfellow. Vote for Trump. <laughs> now, what does the J stand for, Mr. Goodfellow? I'll be honest. I don't really give a shit. <laughs> Jesus, it stands for Jesus. It I'll stands for Jesus. I don't really know. Jay Weezy. I don't really care. I'll be honest, I don't, I don't give a know shit. Know his middle name. I don't know his yeah. middle name. That's true. Donald J. Weezy Trump. He's got a blacker side. Trust me, I've seen it. Lovely, lovely. Well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a give or take moment with the with the Mr. Trump. I think I think if he he approaches it for the country if he uses his little fucking conniving mind for the country it could be good but if he uses his conniving mind to be self-serving it could be very very bad but you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna give him a try i'm gonna vote donald j trump for fucking 2016 presidential nominee now what do you think about the allegations surrounding donald trump's tiny little fingers do you have an opinion He's got little about. sausage fingers. What's that about? Well, I personally believe his fingers, his fingers are are quite like I little baby know. vanilla wafers. Really, vanilla wafers. That <laughs> That's the first time. Yeah, the <laughs> little little baby vanilla wafers that just kind of like they crinkle every time he tries to make a hand gesture. Thank you, so Thank you much. very much. Say hi to the gate for me. What the fuck? Well, I will do. Next up on stage, who do we got? Who do we got? Any takers? Don't all come up at once. If you all sit down in the same chair, it will get real awkward real quick. I think we got D-Lamb over here. We got D-Lamb. I hear D-Lamb. D-Lamb of God. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Don't be a bitch, d -Lam. Just take a seat. Chris Hansen style, why don't you take a seat? Get up there. Yeah. Hold on, let me let me slowly move up here because the sim is lagging like AIDS. It oh, might be because I, uh, of the building. This yeah. just in. Sims can lag and so can AIDS. I think I have AIDS, Apparently but I'm I'm, I'm waiting now. for it to res. Think, yeah, I think that's uh, going to be my new slogan, kind of, when I'm lagging. I'm lagging like AIDS. So, d, d Lam, quick question. Yeah. Uh, when you were posing that outfit, the gun, was that, was that the first thing you attached, or was that the last? You, like, totally well, nude, and then you wore the gun, and it was sure. just you looking in the mirror nude with the gun? Or what was the order of things there? Well, I had to bring the shotgun out here tonight because I think Pally Hub is overrun by gay lagging faggots. And mm -hmm. I'm here to get rid of the gay agenda, the pedophile agenda, and the furry Trade agenda. Laggots, you would say. Katons, gay like, uh, la laggots. The laggots yeah, are what they're not laggots, they're straight up queer. Like Dream so Good Hello, the corniest yes. cornball piece of shit that got on the stage. Oh, wow, those are those are fighting words. Those are those fighting are harsh words from from a man with a shotgun. Dream, I you may want to put on a bulletproof vest. <laughs> I think we could uh, segregate the gays, and I've mentioned this in Pally Hub over wall. and over. Segregate the gays. Are you talking about uh, a, a camp where they could be concentrated? No, not really like that. I'm just saying That's separate the hub. Pally Schwitz, perhaps. Segregation. Kind of like how back in the day where they had uh, bathrooms for black people, well, that was that was wrong. But if you make bathrooms for gay people, then it's right. Because well, yeah, because who really sense. wants to be at a urinal and have a gay guy behind them? Um, well, other gay guys, but other than that, that they're, they're really annoying. Um, I mean, just listen to them. They're really annoying, right? I think they should have their own game room, their own hangout area. But now, now, you have made the distinction in the past between the stupid gays that need to be segregated and the good gays. Please tell us about that distinction. All right, so there is good gays and there is um, bad gays. Good gays are like Crayer. He's a good gay. Bad gay is like Dream Goodfellow. He's annoying gay. He's so. a bitch. The good gays could stay with the straights because they're just they're just you know gay and they're not this is they're not sissified. They're oh, not sissified. Unlike this person, <laughs> unlike this person talking during my interview, he is a bad gay. He's so AIDS infested, <laughs> and it's kind of like spreading Listen, like the we're uh, next. zombie Prello, we're next. Walking Dead. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, well, on, on to our next question. Um, do you have any plans to get laid tonight, D Lamb? I think uh, I hear a couple takers in the background. I think Cruella, perhaps. They could be one of the bad gays. Uh, okay. don't, bitch, don't, uh, don't I have no interest mind. in anybody here. No. And if that I did, you wouldn't know about words. it. Oh. And if I did, stick you into that about sneaky it. IM box. I like it, D Lamb. Classy DM. Okay, so what D-Lamb is saying, anybody who's interested, please I am him to I'm interested. Next interview. Here's the requirements. Here's here's <laughs> my requirements, though. You have mm. to be in a position Boo. of power, so I can get what I want. If oh. you're not in well, position you know what? Of power, We're pretty sure you're not going to get what you want. If you don't have money, if you don't have What you're saying power, is you like you like being you submissive. Me. So what you're saying is you like submissive. being submissive in the bedroom. I'm very <laughs> dominant. I'm very dominant. Yeah. Uh, well, it's obvious to me that later on, like once he you want to be that spoiled, spoiled. he's going to shove that I don't like thing up his ass. He wants to be a baby girl. Thought. That's all. Like Adrian over here. She's an average thought, and that's why no man talks <laughs> we'll to her. We'll see about that. And she cries at night, every single night. Well, Adrian apparently that, hates me, and I don't know why. So, well, I'm, I'm going to second that. That's why. Um, I'm going to second you like thoughts on that. <laughs> I'm if if you're if you're unlucky tonight, the only thing that you may be having up your ass is these nuts. Kind of is, so I would. His uh, goddamn head. He has it in his hand. Look, Where do you think it's gonna go when he gets off here? Because they're not me. I mean, listen, right in his butt. Listen, we're mad because 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 Right. Hello, well, thank Kanye you so West, much. Sweetie, thank you so much for your, your Sanders. Sanders. Sup, dude? Thank, thank you, D Lamb. It's always an uh, interesting event. One last, one last word. Fuck Pally. Fuck Pally.
Okay. Hug. Thank, Hug. You Thank you so much. much. Havoc um, hey Lance, how changed you at all in the past hour or so? Or no, I, I still okay. think, honestly, I, you know, I, I really wanted to talk about my work, my understanding of the business, and I love you, I, I, Havoc has no premise on on my part. Ah, uh, and Adrian, when when at one point did you decide you were going to be a cunt? Was it was it from birth? Well, to you, it was from second one. Oh, Anything sucks. else? Ah, oh, good, good. <laughs> okay, I now like the facts. what do you have to say? What do you have to say in response to these allegations that you have sand in your vagina? Um, I'm not going to say who said it, but somebody <laughs> present. But she's here. been to the beach. She's been to the beach. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying there's this still is sand a true in there. story, and I am a surfer. I do. I'm an avid surfer, and I have been to a beach. And sometimes in the bikini, in the bikini, it does. The sand does build up, and I, I can, I get concerned about that. But yeah, you, I know how to take care of it. Well, I mean, that's, under that's understandable, you know. Um, you get a little salty when you go to the sea, and uh, you get sand in your vagina, and things happen. But, uh, but never had it in my vagina, but I did have it in the, you know, there, there's a pocket. You know this, in the, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. No, it's understandable. Um, Havoc, do you have any further questions for uh, Miss Adrian tonight? Uh, you know, I just... If you don't have anything nice to say, you probably shouldn't speak it. Well, Havoc never has anything nice to say to me, obviously. Wise, wise words, wise words. Um, who, uh, who is the designer on your dress tonight, Adrian? It's a lovely dress. That's a friend of mine. Her name is Megan Fox, and she made it. Beautiful. Was Beautiful. it with her toe thumbs? Yeah. Isn't she an actor? <laughs> can she sn can she sew even though she has toe thumbs? Is that is that a thing that can be done? Well, she she came to my show and did it did it. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. All right, um, then I think we don't have uh, any further questions tonight, but we would like to thank you. Well, very no, much for coming. I'd like and to talk more. I would really like to talk more. Well, well, what, what would you like to talk about? That is all the time we have. So uh, get I would, the fuck off well, I would stage. love. No. <laughs> How about this? Ladies and no. gentlemen, let's hear it. No, I'm not. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Adrian. Now get yeah. the fuck off. Let's let's hear it for Havoc. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I have I have Piper here with me. Is there something else you'd like to address while you're in the hot seat, Adrian? I would. I would. Piper is my friend, and uh, I don't know oh, who uh, this is, but it's bitch. Get it's the called, fuck off. A wreck spot, ladies and gentlemen, a wreck spot, and he is here to stay. A wreck spot, how have you been? It's been a long time since we've you. Because you are the comfiest, Adrian. I know. The hell? You mean the okay. cuntiest? I think you mis mispronounced that. Might be a typo on the prompt. I apologize, it, it happens, technical issues. Teleprompter mess up. Um, any parting words for us, Adrian? I'm just so drunk. My oh, no. No, I'm... I'm good. I'm I'm staying. Oh, you're no, staying. She's gonna stay here, and I'm just gonna shit all over her chest. Wow. Ah, Scott with the shit on the chest. Why do I not doubt that? Sorry, Rex, but we're gonna have to save the porn for the. I think they need. Um. So, um, do you consider yourself a destroyer of your mom's box, Rex? <laughs> oh, um, am I a destroyer of my mom's box? Yes. Yes. Yeah, are you? A very offensive question. So I'm gonna take did that. Did you as destroy it when you were born? Well, she did have a C-section. Did you come out like and, Cthulhu, like, with lips and all, like just tentacles and shit? Like she, that. Well, a C-section is like cut the stomach open because like cunt's way too fucking tight. So oh. like they, they had to fucking slice her stomach open and pull me out. I don't wanna. Uh. I don't wanna. You know. You know. Ruin or piss. You know. I don't wanna shit in your cornflakes, Rex. But your your mom's box is not as tight as you may have remembered it. That is, that is disappointing. That is fucking disgusting. I apologize, I didn't mean to. It happens. So, a wreck so, spot, do you, uh... So, a wreck spot, um, currently yeah. you're just a giant red fog for me right now, but I'm gonna assume that you're very handsome, and what are your plans for this evening? Do you have any romantic plans? Do you plan on wooing any of the ladies here tonight? Um, tell us about your... Your, your agenda for the night. 
Well, I <laughs> picked up this girl in Violet, so that's oh, a good start already. Oh, classy. Was uh, that, is, she a, is she a confirmed fact, female, or is she a G-I-R-L? Is she a guy in real life? That's all you need to say. I'm not, I'm not too sure. sure. Have you cam confirmed her? No, but I added her on Instagram, so we're off to a good start. Oh, okay, good, good. good. Is she on Would you head? tongue her butthole? <laughs> All right, hang on. Bear with me. Let me check. There's, there's different classifications, right, I think, of, of violet hose, you know? The viewers yeah. at home want to know, Erect, would you tongue her ass? I know, I, I'm getting there. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, Could ladies and gentlemen, just, yeah. just give it a bit of a moment. He's later tonight, yes. confirmed, Erect spot, tongue to ass. Rim jobs galore. I'd... If I delivered pizza to her house, I'd give her a little extra sausage, if you know what I'm saying. This just oh. in. I've got a message uh, from Buck uh, no, tongue-punching her fart box. Is that what's going to be leading later tonight? <laughs> okay, okay, so I, understand. I, want to talk about, I want to talk about your strategy when you're wooing the ladies. What is your favorite pickup line? These nuts. <laughs> 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 Very effective. That generally works. I've seen a YouTube video about him. Is that generally get you late camps? Sex spot? No, no, it usually fucking doesn't. Possibly you might have to consider your pickup line. So, but did it work if on you, you? If you if you leave tonight having learned nothing, you will at least have learned that. So what, what are you your game. later tonight? <laughs> okay, that's not, that not that much more effective. But thank you for your uh, two trying. It was great. Uh, Havoc, any other All questions for our guest? Erect spot, ladies and gentlemen. Erect, erect spot. All right, good to have you. Thank you. Next up on stage, Fallen Wasp. Fallen. Fallen. Love to have you. I like the glasses. You look classy. Thank Looking you. good, thank man. You. Um, but what made you choose a suit for tonight's events uh, as opposed wanted, to a onesie? I wanted to look... <laughs> I wanted to look spiffy. Mm. And what does the B stand for on your baseball cap? Does it stand for anything in particular? Oh, it stands for fucking... <laughs> little balls. bit? No. Little, little, little balls. bitch balls? Balls? Ball, balls? 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 Okay. Bottom? That's your ball. Boss! Boss! Not balls. Boss! Boss! Boss bottom. Yep, exactly. And how uh, how do you think you are in the running for uh, be, you know best dressed? Do you think you can, think you can bring home the gold? I think I can do it. Yeah. So you think you can bring home the golden shower? Is what you're saying? Oh hell yeah! I can definitely bring that. Now are are you hoping that we have two categories of best dressed, um, like hipster best dressed, um, you know? Yeah. And of what what kind of what kind of look are you going for? What do you think is gonna sweep the ladies away? I mean, just what, looking. Just in, yep, exactly. Why are your just, nails painted, Fallen? Just your general overall charisma and charm. So, is the winner of best oh. dressed female going to be giving you said golden shower? If they would like to, yes. Well, sounds like you have an exciting night coming up ahead for you here, Fallen. Um, yeah. Let's talk about your favorite pickup line. What, what do you like to use on the ladies? Um, oh, well, all right. Do you like the classics like, hey, my dick's this? hard? Is that... You like going straight to the points? Do you like to be blunt? Oh, like oh yeah. No, no woman can resist a Invisa Alpha Layer body because yeah. uh, it's like it's like trying to find the penis. You just kind of like kind of reach around. Can I do this? Oh, I, I think I found it. Straight up. It's okay, shout. ladies and gentlemen. We will censor bar what he has as a penis. <laughs> First, I do those this. viewing at home, I, uh, uh, audience, I apologize. <laughs> He is uncircumcised. <laughs> it, it's it's a medical condition. We have a brisk scheduled for later. There is a brisk scheduled for later to get that cut because it's weird looking. No woman likes an uncircumcised penis. Nice. Yeah. At the top of my lungs. Okay. Do you do you find that that is an effective method? Uh, generally speaking, do you yeah. think Doing that the naked man? It works. 
All right, ladies, take note. Everybody, please uh, cam in onto Fallen if you're interested. Notice the veins on his mesh cock. Um, they almost, they almost, almost resemble the Trail of Tears. Yeah. Yes. Much, much like the Native Americans oh, had yes. to see, go I down. The formation. Oh my so, goodness. Almost like the Rockies Fallen. on a, a geographical map. Yeah, he's a good representative of the Native American struggle for freedom and uh, I am I am one sixteenth Native American. I Notice think that that okay. his Folks. penis completely shaved and yet his pelvic region kinda messy. You know it's like tasteful yeah. but kinda trashy at the same time. And you might you're a little you're a little white for a Native American representative, but I think that you'll do unless somebody else can one up you. Ali um, getting up there. But I definitely yeah. feel like you are in the running best dress tonight. So. Don't bitch out, Pally. I won't shit on your chest if you don't get out here. Just say it. Just say it. It's really embarrassing. Hello. Hello. We are so honored to have you here, Mr. Cornett. Um, you we just cannot express to you in words. Um, you are the host of Pallywood 2016. Um, do you feel like this is an event Wait, in am? the future? Wait, yes, I'm the host? You? Yeah, you are oh. the host. Yep. I should have reached. <laughs> um, Big Kahuna. Yep. What was, so what was the question? Do you, do you foresee a Pallywood 2017? Uh, very doubtful. Damn it. Okay, <laughs> next question. Oh, come on. <laughs> Boo! Boo! 2017, too. I have to say, I think it's a good turnout. We've got 60 people on this sim almost, and um, I think it's I think it's great. I think everybody. I, I will definitely. I, I'll I'll try to do it 2017. Okay, I have an anonymous question here from our viewers. I'll sit in oh. he's gone. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Goodfellow. Um, You're welcome. Also, if anybody has any questions for Mr. Palisade Cornet, please IM me directly, and the question will remain anonymous. So, um, I have a question here. I have a question here from, actually, this person does not seem to value. Uh, hey, panic. I have ask, him, ask him how he liked my spongy cock on the back of his head. Um, it was very spongy, and I loved it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. It was very spongy, and he loved it. Oh, um, next... I heard nobody goes to it anymore. Next question. Next question. Tell us Tell us about your relationship right now. Uh, what is the status of your relationship? Um, I'm totally available to all the ladies. Just, I'm looking. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm with Guardian of the Galaxy right now, and she's probably going to go... That's Does so she cute. guard your galaxy? She is. She is the defender of my galaxy. She's my Star Lord. That is adorable. Aww. That is adorable. Aww. Aww. Yeah. If anybody I'm has scared. any questions for Palisade, please IM me, and uh, they will be asked anonymously. So, go ahead and do that if you have any questions. Um, Havoc, do you have any questions for our gracious host tonight? Palisade, what did you do to our unborn child? Did you give it up for adoption or abort it? The fuck? What? Now, wait, for the record, I don't know what he's talking about. He's <laughs> lying. He was pregnant with my child, and I want to know what he did with it. Oh, I wasn't. I think, I think I sensed some hesitation there. Okay, um, next question from an anonymous source. How big is your dick? Uh, that is my personal uh, information, and we don't see that here. Okay. Oh, okay. But I but I will say it is it is a lot like Hitler's cock. It is a micro. Wow, that was a short answer. Mm. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, it's okay, next, Pal. Say two inches here. I've got uh, one more question here. An anonymous question. Uh, are you bisexual? No, I'm not. I'm straight. Okay. And Palisade. This, do you eat the booty here. like groceries? <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. These questions are going downhill. Okay. <laughs> it is. Um, I've got low one brow. question here. Um, the question is, are you sure you're not? It does smell what? like shit in here. I am absolutely certain. Okay. That's also a disappointment. Um, let's see. Um, okay. I've got one more question. How much do you love Dream Goodfellow? I can't tell you who said um, that, but 
Somebody <laughs> asked that it's anonymous. So, 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 so much. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure our anonymous Gentlemen. person appreciate that. Thank you Have very you much. Have you and Dream ever cuddled? <laughs> Is he the one that keeps asking me if I'm bi? Is there a confirmed <laughs> bromance <laughs> in the making? There is no confirmed romance in the making. No, 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 no not romance. Bromance. A bromance? Definitely a bromance, yes. Okay. Um, and, um, let's see here. I've got... Oh my gosh, the questions just keep coming in. Okay. Um... <laughs> Let's see, um, how, <laughs> this is, okay, so how many Lindens have you spent making Pally World the way it is, this lovely creation of yours? Um, I've, I have not kept track of uh, Undisclosed, that. undisclosed. Okay, next question, Anonymous. Is it more than a fuck ton? How bad do you want to be an astronaut? Um, not at all. Not at all. Okay. Um, I think that's that's it for the relevant questions. Oh, okay, I've got one more question. What is your favorite part about Pally Hub? Uh, the people. Oh, that's sweet. Uh. Okay, um, when you cuddle with Dream Goodfellow, are you the big spoon or the little spoon? <laughs> or do Definitely. you alternate? Definitely that the little spoon. Was, that was my he question. So he's your, your jetpack then. Does he make <laughs> jetpack noises when you spoon? He's my big Does he go uh, whoosh? Okay. Um. Hmm. What do you enjoy doing in your free time? Um. Chatterbait and uh, Second Life. Have you ever uh, jacked off to midget porn? Like, when him? did you get here? Do you and Tantric go on Chatterbait together and make it like a team masturbating thing, or yes. how does that? Work? Okay. When did you get yeah. Here, it is the circle jerk. Okay. Um, have you it's more of a line jerk, had really, with two people. Sexual <laughs> encounters. Semantics. <laughs> it's like a Dutch rudder event. I feel like we kind of run over that one. Um, you just, you know, hmm. stroke the arm, keep going. He grabs my arm, I grab his arm, it's not gay. As long as you don't lock eyes, it's not gay. As long as you don't lock eyes. All right, well, um... So, I what was the next question? Um, well, I think it was already addressed. Have you ever had any sexual encounters with Dream? Um, and actually, uh, uh, no, I have not. That was Did actually you want not. To? Ask you that. I can't even tell you who asked me that. <laughs> Listen, cuddling is not a sexual encounter. Okay. Woo! All right. So, um, I think we're gonna wrap this up. And no, uh, no, no, I have one more question, dude. You gotta. <laughs> were all the questions from Dream? They were all from Dream. No, they're not. Actually, I'm getting. I'm really getting a ton of questions from people for real. One um, more question. Do you own a blow up doll of Dream? No. Did you want one? Be badass. If anybody wants that would be a badass. Me, I do want I one. Will hook you up. Okay. Um, it has now, to be a real. I don't want a blow up doll though. I want a real doll. You want a real right. doll, the sex doll. A real doll. It's got to feel right. It's got to feel like he's there. Right. Now I am getting a ton of uh, questions from people, but I think we're gonna have to move no, no, on. No, wait. Here. Ask mine. Ask mine, dude. One more. Okay, okay, okay. Um, how bad do you want to sing a song right now? Mm, I'm too shy right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Some karaoke, bro. Okay. No. So, um, I would like to make an announcement here. Uh, please turn up your music and listen uh, to turn up the bass. Your function's up there on the top the screen. Also, a reminder to tip the lovely DJ tonight and add to the contest boards. So, if you have any questions about that or any difficulties, yeah, please. Because we gotta, we gotta list the names. We gotta list the names from the vote. Well, Kelly, Kurt, 
correct the vote and get the winners of the award. Because he's a scamming motherfucker. Calm the f calm your tits, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Calm your scam. motherfucking tits. Calm the fuck Everyone, now, shut bitch. the he's fuck up, ladies and gentlemen. They will be addressed Dream. momentarily. Okay, can you guys just let me speak? I haven't spoken anything the whole night. Okay. Yes, no. So. I had to type up the note cards so Palisade can announce the winners. That's why it took forever. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. That's it's a good excuse. Everybody goes completely docile when Ellie. I forgive you. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. So it's fine winners. by me. She's the leader we need. How does I want? I'm happy. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming out tonight. It means a lot that so many of you can make it. It truly does. To our first order of business, would the owner of the noob please go outside? You left your face light on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, but seriously, go fix him. That was so bad, but it was good. Tonight is a celebration to show recognition to some of Hally Hub's finest avatars, from elegant to, I don't know what the hell you're wearing, but I might dig it. Uh, we will be rewarding trophies for some of the best dressed avatars, the most romantic, all the way to the, the, the hero Hally Hub might need, but, might not need, but the one that it deserves. I totally fucked that up. Uh, anyways, <laughs> Hally Hub has been a constant expression of creativity founded by its community. I'm proud to call you all my friends and this place my home. I hope you'll soon think of it as a second home too. Thank you. I do consider it a second home. Thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah the good thing about making a The award for most creative male outfit goes to Mr. Havoc. Oh, what the shoot. fuck? Really? Um, yay! That means a lot. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, you just received the first Pally Woody. Yay! Thanks, everybody, for the most. Uh, you know, thank you for voting for me. I was I jokingly added to the board. I didn't really take into credit the people that actually vote for me, but. Um, I appreciate the effort that you guys have put in tonight, seriously, this is probably the best event in my eight years of playing Second Life, so you guys made tonight really fucking awesome, I'm glad that everybody showed up. Um, I'd like to thank Lil Wayne and uh, J you know, Justin Biebs, because uh, he, he, he's, he's been my inspiration for the last like three years, he's just, when he came out with Baby, uh, just, it touched me emotionally and um, physically, it was weird, um, I don't want to get into it, we'll uh, talk about that later. Uh, but, no, seriously. Um, Palisade, I'd like to thank you, dude. Seriously, thanks for making a place that we can all kind of group together and feel welcome. And even though there, you know, people fight and bicker, we all we're like a big, big family. And it's awesome that you made this place for us. And it's really cool that um, in my eight years of Second Life, this is the one place that I know that I can come every fucking day and just kind of get away from all the fucking bullshit that happens out in Second Life, like Violet in Korea. Um, Catface, uh, fucking Ali, Roz, you got and Anna, you guys are fucking amazing for putting this together. It really is been uh, a great experience. I'm glad. I'm actually honored that you made me a part of this tonight. I didn't think that. I mean, I might give you shit because the fact that I, I was forced into it, but uh, no, I'm glad to be here. Thanks. We all know how that is. Um, then I want to say thanks for the Cali Hub uh, people for hosting this event because it, it's really um, 
I think it's really awesome. It's a lot of details and everything. And, um, yeah, what else? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just getting... <laughs> I'm getting scared of! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so... I hope you all have uh, a wonderful night and also like have a wonderful after party after this as well. And um, I also want to say, oh, I wanted to say this as well, I want to say a shout out to my uh, friend Venus who's cleaning my toilet seats right now at my mansion. So yeah bitch, whilst you're cleaning that grease and fat off my toilet seats, I'm here winning an award. So yeah, that was all, that was all for me, thank you. <laughs> I like him, he's thank funny. You, uh, don't forget, everybody who won an award, when I announce your name after you're done with the speech, make sure to go over by Ali by the table on the left, and she will pr uh, present uh, your trophy to you. Thank you to Anana for all the trophies um, that she made. And uh, <clears throat> now, ladies and gentlemen, the award for best superhero male goes to Tiger on Surfa. Yeah! Superhero yes. male. Okay. What the fuck? I didn't there, see man. that one. It was uh, upstairs. Go get oh him, my Tiger. god. Alright, uh, I just want to thank everyone who voted for me. I didn't really, I didn't, I just kind of did it for fun, but I, I do appreciate <laughs> that a lot. And also, uh, <clears throat> Alahe, Alisade, Ali, uh, and Yana, everybody who helped like put all this together, like the trophies and shit, and the whole venue, it's all, it's all fucking awesome. Uh, thank you to everybody who helped with that. And also, um, uh, I just wanna just recognize Palisade also again for the Sim. You know, it's 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 by far the best place, like the best place to come on Second Life to hang out and meet people. Uh, so yeah, that's all. Thank you, Tiger. Okay, go over, go over to Allie, and um, she'll present you with your award. Okay, and now, ladies and gentlemen, the award for best superhero female goes to Courtney nine four one two. All right, congratulations. Do you need a TP up to the stage? Come on down, find your prize. Do what I do. Fuck the shit out of him. Fuck off. Just kidding. I love all of you. Oh, she's a woman. Ladies and gentlemen, the award for best romantic, and I'm going to announce this together because they got lucky and it was the same person. Male and female go to the best romantic male and female go to Dream Goodfellow and Anana 420. Oh, shit. Ladies and shout out man. Dream motherfucking Goodfellow and Anana. What's her name? It's Anana. Gentlemen, can I just say, as soon as I figure out how to get up on this stage, real quick. <laughs> dude, 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 just, just, just one step at a time. You got this. Oh, uh, we got this. We got this. You got it. I'll just call like to, in front of everyone. You know, in front of everyone, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hug each other for a moment. Now, hips in or hips out? Uh, I just, hey, I just kiss, wanna say kiss, that kiss. You guys all are fucking so special in your own fucking personality, and we I are so you fucking. No. <laughs> I wanna thank, I wanna thank my date, my special date tonight. Her name is Anana of Babylon. Thank Anana you. Four twenty. She's so beautiful and she's so smart and I really like dating her. And I am not gonna argue anything that he's saying right now. So keep going. <laughs> That's what she's gonna say later tonight. Keep going. It's okay, dreams, just keep going. I want everybody to know that you all are just you all are cool and thanks for fucking voting for us because you did the right thing. You did the right thing. Anonymous. That's right, make America sense. great again. We are making Pally Hub great again. <laughs> Yo, I agree. I agree. I love fucking... Hey, Donald Trump for president, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it yeah. first. Pa Palisade for president. I, I vote Palisade for president. Because, you know, he, he got this together. 
and this is like uh-huh. probably the quietest I've ever seen a group of trolls. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for being on your best behavior. <laughs> Putin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hey, are they done yet? You're welcome, guys. Okay, go over to uh, Allie's table and get a kiss and an award from her. Okay, oh, and kiss. Nice. the moment that everybody has been waiting for, the very last contestants. Ladies and gentlemen, the award for best dressed male and female go to Let Me See You Naked and Rosalind Bailey. <gasps> oh, shit. Embarrassing. You can talk, Aaron. Uh, no. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Speech, ah, speech, done. speech, speech. Speech. Let's go. Text to speech. Text to speech. I ain't talking in front of people. Just imagine all of us de rendered naked. Fine. Finally, no, thank you guys. Do you know what? This way. has been so much fun putting this together and hanging out with the girls and just getting this all together and it's been a really good night. I've really enjoyed myself. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. You're the best. <laughs> You're the fucking best. Okay, so I lost my great. sound for a second. So I'm just gonna say I had to sit for a couple of hours while Roz picked my whole outfit and then I had to <laughs> buy like a couple suits. So it sucked. Thanks guys. Hey, congratulations. Roz, guys. You let him you let him keep that slutty and, chain after. And in Roz. the meantime we had to watch the not dressing for a funeral. So I, I guess that was my comment to leave. Oh my god. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Good job, man. You know when Thanks, I, I'd like to say one last thing. When when Allie came to me with this idea, I was like, "That is the worst idea I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm not doing it." And she's like, "I want to do it." And I'm like, "All right, fine, you do it, but I'm not going to take credit for it." And so I just want to say that this was Allie's idea, and uh, Cafe's helped out, and Rosalind helped out, and everybody helped out. Inanna helped out. And uh, we had turn up the ba- the ba- uh, turn up the bass that did a really good job DJing, and yeah. I really appreciate turn up that the bass. everybody had a good time, and that it went I'm as well. As it. Thanks everyone! Thanks everyone! Thank you, ladies, for making this song. Thank you, awesome. Palisade Coronets. Let me hear it. Now dance party! Woo! No, I don't.